Hi guys, Jake with TBS Superchargers. Today I want to talk with you a little bit about a commonly asked question. That's the difference between our cast and our billet blowers. Now looking at these, I've got a cast 871 and a billet 1071 here with me. Um, the cast 871 is going to have a little bit more of a retro look, a little bit more rounded. It's going to be kind of period correct to that 60s or 70s look. The billet case being fully CNC machined, it's going to be a little bit more chiseled, uh, a little bit tighter package and kind of contemporary look to it. Now. Building these blowers, 871 cast case versus billet case, they're going to perform very similarly. There's not a real big difference in boost or power uh, or even really weight. Um, they're going to be very similar. Where these things kind of start to set themselves apart is in durability um, and how they're manufactured. The cast case, when you cast something, you're pouring molten aluminum into a mold. And that's going to create a grain structure kind of like a Rice Krispie treat, you know? Uh, it's going to have a little bit of porosity in it, and that's just kind of naturally how things are going to be with a cast, a casting. With the billet case, you've got a big chunk of aluminum that goes through an extrusion mold, and when you push it through that, it's going to create a grain structure that's all kind of moving one direction, and that creates a very durable product. To this day, we've yet to have someone, you know, break one of these cases apart. We've had people drop bolts through them and nearly saw the thing in half, and they're still together, and that's what's important is keeping all the parts inside the blower, you know, when things start getting unfortunate. We have, you know, nitro guys going through the lights that start mixing up cylinders, and combustion starts happening in the manifold, and things go boom, and these things stay together. So that's kind of where these things start to set themselves apart a little bit in the durability aspect. But for most applications, both are going to be totally fine. So it just kind of comes down to, you know, the look and what you want the car to be and the attitude of it. And, you know, between the two, with what the boss has been able to do as far as materials and manufacturing process, these are really even comparable in price point. So it's ultimately just down to personal choice. So I hope that answered a little bit about, you know, the question of what's the difference between our cast and our billet blowers. They're very comparable and both a very good product. Thank you for watching.